Hello, my beautiful friends. It's me again. Even though you can see the beautiful turquoise uh, water behind me, I am actually not reporting from Zani Beach. I am reporting to you once again from Burgess, only about 30 kilometers an hour from the world's number one resort. And on the bike, I'm still wearing my uh, discounted uh, BMW pants. It takes like half an hour down the new road. So it's absolutely amazing. Another beautiful uh, summer day in this beautiful country. And let me tell you why we're here. I'll give you a little bit of uh, a hint. Yes, you guessed that right. It is James Bond weekend. We already have uh, tickets to the uh, Burgess Cinema. And in case you've never been to a movie theater in uh, in Bulgaria, actually any movie theater where it's here or Sofia, any of the major cities, they are freaking epic. Everything super high tech, super awesome, costs absolutely nothing. They have food, they have beer, you can bring your own. Well, I, we bring some Pirinsko with us sometimes. So um, yeah, in case you, you're you here visiting and you want to catch a flick, it's all in English almost always. Uh, and it's very inexpensive and is really cool. So they have the social distancing thing uh, now. You just go online, choose the chairs that, that you know where you wish to sit, and everything's super comfortable, super high tech. Boom! You got a QR code on your phone. You're done. Sorry, that's a bit of a tangent. So I want to let you know what's been happening. Definitely, uh, Sunny Beach is you know it's it's over and done with uh, at this point. It's still really nice. We did have a couple days of rain. Uh, there's still people milling, uh, milling about, you know, Condor Bar. It's like Monday morning, Monday afternoon is full of people, which is awesome. Uh, some of the restaurants are, are uh, still open. Johnny's open. I don't really go there all that often. But Flora, uh, just awesome. We try to go there as frequently as we can. And some of the other uh, barbecue places, mostly closed, but some of the places for locals are still open. All the shops and stuff. The small ones are closed, but, you know, all the, all the good stuff where um, you know where you want to buy uh, your groceries and stuff like that are open and uh, as I mentioned in my previous videos will remain open year-round so I can confirm for the, the 80th time that Janet will be open and Janet has absolutely everything and I'm not talking about the big one because of course the big one is open all the time but if you don't have a car motorcycle or you know some kind of a transport and you just wish to walk uh, you're in sunny beach you wish to just get get good stuff yeah, at a clean, uh, you know, grocery store, it's all there for you. Hey, look at the water behind me, Jesus. You know, when you see this, like with your real eyes, it really is this like crazy turquoise um, color. It's astonishing. So look, not a cloud in the sky. It really feels like uh, June here. This park in Burgess has been just completely re uh, revitalized and it's just so beautiful. And about, uh, you know, we've been here for about eight years. So there are all these, I talked about this before, but you must know again. So there's all these villas here along the, along the, um, the, the promenade here. And I always thought to myself, Jesus, you know, this is like, you know, the, the, the top three uh, cities in this country here. Uh, and you look at some of these, um, these houses, these beautiful old, like rich people villas, they're completely decrepit. I mean, it's just like rats and poop and people, you know, just sleeping and, uh, you know, uh, homeless people sleep. These gorgeous places that are finally being completely revitalized, okay, into, you know, uh, beautiful apartments, uh, villas for, for uh, cool, uh, rich people, and boutique hotels. So, doo -doo -doo -doo, I'm gonna do one more, uh, one more spin here. So the, the, the whole vibe, vibe of, uh, you know, downtown Berg is of course completely redone. Uh, all the roads, everything, just so much money poured in here. It's, it's astonishing. But the most coolest things are these, these villas that there's still a few of them that are, are uh, a little bit, uh, you know, but they'll be fixed. I have really good feelings and all the roads and stuff, you know, and there's like no garbage, you know, there's gar like garbage cans everywhere and people not throwing garbage on the ground, which is awesome. I mean, look behind me. It's, it's freaking world class. It's incredible. So these villas plenty of them here uh they have restaurants now and if you go down the little alleyways uh boutique hotels um and and residences i mean really fancy ones so what i wanted to show you is of course so i'm parked here for the night why you ask because 
we are staying there. So we got a room for a couple nights at this beautiful boutique hotel upstairs. Really good deal overlooking the turquoise waters. And our movie starts in about six hours. So we have enough time to grab a steak, some pirinskos and enjoy our, our afternoon here. And I will tell you more in a few hours. Let me tell you about my hotel. I don't like taking videos like this because hotel is a hotel, but this one is really cool. So on the way back, we went to Lido to pick up some crack sausages as always. You just can't stop eating them. You buy a whole box and it's like... Rah, 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 rah. Crazy. But this is really cool. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. So they have a machine that makes coffee for you. It's crazy. Just press one button, boom, coffee. If you're into that. Crazy, awesome. Like everything is really cool and kind of luxury -y. I should take off these stupid pants, okay? So da 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 But of course, the most important part. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Ah, oh, that water is so beautiful. No, no, right there. Huh? 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 That's breakfast for you. So, thousand time, if you come. When you come to Sunny Beach, definitely come visit this place. It's so cool. Every single day, every single time that we come here, it's always, always something new. So, got a bit of a, a park view. And like citizens, Burgessians, are out and about walking around with their kids and cigarette parties, all this stuff. It's beautiful here right now. It just really feels like summer. So, yeah, we're here for a couple days. And I'm gonna grab some Pirinskos. I have a little table, Pirinsko table and a chair. I don't know if you can see it. Ah, oh, whatever. You get the idea. So I'm gonna sit here and enjoy maybe yell at people. It's always fun after a few beers. Thanks for watching, but I'll have a lot more coming. It's so fucking beautiful here. I hope you put Bulgaria on your short list when you come to travel. And when you come, you don't have to just sit in Sunny Beach. I mean, of course, sit in Sunny Beach and have the time of your life because it is the greatest place, but go. Check out other places, especially place, places so close, like Burgas. Okay, so you can see a little bit here, the, you know, the, the finished buildings back there and where the hotel is, to th this sort of a state where some of these places are. And you can see some of these cool old apartments and new apartments. So crazy, crazy, uh, you know, improvements here. Of course, rebuilding a place like this, especially if you're keeping the you know the facade and, and the skeleton of the building i think maybe by law you have to so a lot of these construction projects you know definitely take a considerable amount of time uh and effort and crazy money so you know it's moving forward for sure and just look how gorgeous these these places are like look at these doors you know if they're able to retain uh you know some of maybe the old windows and oh, certainly the doors and stuff i mean wow you know in these places have basements and and uh you know crazy uh um balconies and decks uh up up on the rooftop i just imagine just sitting around and having your pirinsko and overlooking the you know the black sea because it's you know just just right here and this uh behemoth of a hotel is also really fancy quite expensive like a big spa blah 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 i went and i never stayed there it was actually really expensive but uh, obviously you know super five star sort of western style bullshit uh, and you know, and, and then some of these old buildings and these pieces of land here were really sort of modernized into just apartments for, uh, you know, for people with some bucks. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but you can see the clash here of uh, architecture. It's pretty cool. And yeah, everything's beautiful. It's really nice and clean and very, uh, and very new and very modern. Oh, that's pretty cool and you know just look at that cool balcony oh i just love this stuff and you know we're five ten minute walk from downtown burgas and three minute walk from the bay uh again where all those cool restaurants are i mean this is this is fancy living here 
you guys fancy living i'll see like another just look how gorgeous this place is ay, ay, ay. oh museum okay cool never been maybe we should visit but right now i'll tell you a story just around the corner there's um a little supermarket where you can get supermarket things uh goes and cigarettes so you really haven't lived if you haven't bought yourself a beer from one of these like super tiny little old style um bulgarian uh, little supermarkets so there's one just around the corner and it's awesome we always go there it's you know super friendly lady you know old lady and uh super inexpensive and just a really neat uh adventure especially when you go and it's super super uh, dark at night nighttime she's open really late and i don't know i just there's like a funny funny amazing feeling not because you're buying a beer but it's just like a cool place to just kind of sit and mill about with the rest of the uh citizens uh it's like a gathering gathering point for people hanging out in the middle of the night drinking beers so it's just around the corner i'm gonna go there now and maybe take another video but look at this place it's just glorious and the weather could not be just absolutely could not be better yeah so this is the entrance and that's the other other hotel this is the entrance to the bay and and all that all that crazy stuff and there's a tennis uh school here which you know when again when we first moved here this place was so run down and so garbagey i mean look looked like a dumpster this whole thing looked like a dumpster and now completely rebuilt you know this kind of a modern building and they had rebuilt this tennis court and from my sort of recollection uh this place is actually quite busy uh and they oh that's cool so i had no idea they convert into a, a bubble so of, of course keep the wind and the cats out and you can play in the winter time so just like sunny beach because we have a pretty fancy uh tennis um court uh system in sunny beach you don't believe this but it actually exists in sunny beach right in town and it's really fancy really high end so they have the same same kind of a system here if you're into it and you know again like this here these are the really old like we're talking sort of uh, soviet era uh government buildings for shipping like for all the boat related things and they're still really really run down but I gotta tell you, you know, just a few more years, in just a few more years, because this is all prime property, there's some apartments here as you can see, in just a few more years, this is going to be million dollar homes and, you know, 500,000 euro epic apartments overlooking the, the, the bay and all the boats and stuff. I mean, it's pretty cool, you know? I mean, it's all, it's all nice when you're living on a beach overlooking, you know, like a beach bar or something like that. That's ah, obviously really cool, but, I don't know. I think I would, I would almost prefer kind of a super, super dope apartment with a big deck. And I mean, boom, you go outside and you're overlooking the, the, the cranes and all the boats coming in and out. Oh, that would be really cool. Or like trains or something. I don't know. I think it's cool. So here, some of these places have been uh, rebuilt a little bit and, and beautifulized. You know, this place is, uh, sort of in uh in limbo right now but yeah like there's like bicycle trails uh, you know like it's how how progressive and and sort of modern and wild <laughs> it's just wild there's none of this was here just a few years ago there's a restaurant right here in front of me that's always super super busy it's it's probably just kind of in between busyness two hours there's gonna be a hundred people standing here, hanging out drinking, like hipsters and stuff, and just, uh, oh, just so cool. So cool. Really beautiful. Okay, so I'll show you the, the little shop where I get my first beer of the day. Oh, please tell me it's open. Please tell me it's open. Yeah, it is. Okay, so if you're here, please do me a favor. Visit this shop and uh, Grab yourself a beer, because this is Bulgaria at its finest. I don't know, but this is it. Check that. Oops. Chick -chick. Oh, oh. <laughs> Cheers from Burgess, everybody. I 
love these little shops here. Just awesome. The vibe here is, it, it can't be better. You know, just the feeling of being here right now on this beautiful day, surrounded by the most beautiful people essentially in the world and walking around under the, under the sun. I mean, it is freaking hot. It, it just like for me, it doesn't get any better. And if you have a look here, this is just a side note, a little Bulgarian tip. Uh, Hesburger has replaced, will replace the old McDonald's here on the main strip. I know it's just fast food, but I've said this a million times. Hesburger makes the best fast food hamburgers in the world of all time ever, period. For, for the rest of my life, I'll feel this way. It is so good, it is so inexpensive, and just absolutely have to do it. There's one in Sunny Beach. You must visit if you like that kind of stuff. I love it. Once every three, four months, just go and treat yourself. It's so tasty, just like, it's truly tasty. I just found the coolest, coolest, coolest uh, cat to share a Perinska with. We met him late last night. He's so friendly, super cool. This guy, a little less friendly, but maybe he's just having a bad day. Just around the corner here is a bookstore. The bookstore is amazing. So if you like books, and you should, because books are awesome, uh, it's mostly Bulgarian books, but they do have English books as well. It is an absolutely beautiful store. Even if you're not gonna buy anything, just walk inside and smell the delicious uh, smell of books. It really is like a beautiful Western style, super just cool, uh, with super cool people, um, a bookshop. So you know where I'm, I am, right? Kind of in Burgess Center. And it's just around the corner. We're gonna head there now after I finish my beer. Oh, you scared. Oh, well. Spoke too soon. Bye. Whoa, this video is just a gift that keeps on giving. So this is the other side of Burgess. This is kind of the continuation of the main street. And this is the kind of older, older area, I think maybe. Well, just judging by the trees and slightly older buildings. And just on the beginning of the, the shop, sorry, the, the road is a Russian store. And Russian stores are actually a staple in most of the major cities here in Bulgaria, and they are incredible. So again, if you're in any of the larger cities, especially here in Burgas, Sofia, anywhere, check out the Russian grocery shops, even just to browse and peruse, peruse through. They are so much fun. We always stop in and just have like the super light, super, super small snack. You gotta get your caviar, your Russian uh, butter, and this bread, this is the agat, agatha's bread, which I really like the most. Of course, you put thick slices of butter, about as thick as the actual bread slices uh, on top, and just put a little bit of the caviar. We just buy the cheap, the cheap, the cheaper stuff. You can spend like 300 bucks, uh, 300 leva on, um, on a small jar, which I've never tried before. And for the first time, pork jerky, but that's totally beside the point. So we're gonna have a light lunch, and you can just eat outside of the store. Ah, you gotta love that. <laughs> Happy sushi. Remember, this place actually has sushi. The one in town, uh, it's still called Happy Sushi or just Happy, but they no longer have sushi. Uh, so you gotta come here, which is directly across from the main, I guess, main entrance to the uh, Burgess Park, which you absolutely have to go. Absolutely go for a... Go for a stroll, sit on a bench. It's so beautiful, it's so beautiful. And if you wanna know the best store in about a 300 kilometer radius for groceries, this is the one, that's it. You know, if you look for, like, if you're looking for meat and that, like, just check it out. It's just like, it's awesome. Uh, so yeah, this is the best grocery store. We're gonna pick up a whole bunch of stuff just before we leave uh, back to Sunny and grab some steaks and stuff. Uh, but now we're waiting for our reservations in about half an hour. The rezo.beg uh, reservation website still works. So if you're a cheap ass like we are, you can go on rezo.beg and reserve a table and get yourself like, uh, you know, 10 leva back or 20 leva back, depending on how much you eat. Sorry for the wind, but yeah, it's windy and loud and crazy and so busy. Uh, yeah. 
Wait, 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 wait. I got to tell you a few more things. Burgess was epic. We really got the best weather and the tail end of the weekend. It was super fun. Roaming around again. You know how much I love suburbia. We freaking stayed up all night on, well, almost all night on the first, on the first night and then super late, just kind of relaxing and oh my god is it ever fun there's so many cool new places to eat and just people all the just everywhere everybody wants to chat with you everybody wants to rah, 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 what are you doing what are you doing oh it was great and and our place was great and the people at, uh, at our hotel and just wow can you ever live like a king for so little money and everything from your lodging to uh, to, you know, to dining, to, you know, going out for drinks and just like everything. And it's just freaking everything. You know, I, I've said this before. This is one of the very last uh, countries really in the world, like on the planet where you can really have this like crazy five star, exp five star experience for fraction of the cost of where, uh, you know, of other, uh, other places, you know, especially places, you know, like in the you know, in the West, I mean, just for, I'm going to say 20%, 20 cents on the dollar, you can have the same experience here. Wow. Did we ever live like Kings and oh, just incredible. So again, when you're here, you must visit, you know, you must visit, uh, you know, some of the, the bigger cities. It's, it's really, you know, to take a bus, take a car, just please. This is my 50th time saying this. So I'm back in sunny. It's a little bit gloomy. I'm under a parasol at my very favorite restaurant, the Bistro. Of course, it is really my favorite restaurant. Uh, and I'm having my uh, my uh, daily, not quite daily, but close uh, bowl of uh, my favorite Bulgarian dish, my uh, Shkembe Chorba. Maybe I could show you. Well, maybe I'll try. Uh. <laughs> I put way too much chilies in it, as one should. A little bit of garlic and some cake. Bulgarians call this uh, uh, like white bread, but it is the worst possible thing you could ingest. I mean, it's really like a piece of piece of moist cake. Like there's no nutritional value. This is like an edible cigarette, but once in a while you got to do it because it's so freaking delicious. It is so awful for you. But uh, when you add it to your shkambe, put way too much salt on it, you have yourself the ultimate dish. So I woke up, you know, around noon today kind of dark you know in the morning and a little bit gloomy it rained a little bit yesterday doesn't matter it's awesome the weather's still kind of nice people still milling about you know you go down the corner the fellows are you know having their uh drinks their wines and their little rakia shots um you know early afternoon rah, 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 yapping and playing their uh, the card games and all this other stuff fucking great i love it i love it i uh, just kind of walked around you know i'm Walking around Sunny Beach like this old, old man uh, who has absolutely nothing else going on for him. Because that's exactly what I am. Still wearing my sandals. I look like a total fool. But um, yeah, just absolutely, absolutely uh, uh, amazing day here. I told you guys before, my winters here are, are you know, you just make the best of it. It's, uh, it's absolutely, absolutely great. I'm going to go down to the, to the Jeanette shop, get myself some... Um, some Pirinskos. Oh. <laughs> uh, bring some Pirinskos. Oh, you motherfucker. Spilling a little bit. Um, bring some Pirinskos home. I'm happy because, you know, air conditioning is off. It's that time in between where the temperature in your house and on your balcony, you know, you're having a little barbecue or something. We're going to make some prawns today. They have these huge packs of uh, frozen prawns for like, 20 leva and you can make like three three dishes you know like if you're into like making little japanese uh bento boxes or whatever uh sushi whatever uh with uh, with these nice big prawns you buy a, a frozen box divide it into like three or four portions you have these incredible uh, you know you can make these incredible meals for for next to nothing and i mean like really fancy meals if you know what you're doing watch a youtube video or something it's awesome so um that's all i have to tell you guys um I know I'm not going to try to encourage you to come here uh, in the off season. I always try to. I always want to, especially you Bulgarian folks who are living nearby. And I'm talking about, you know, nearby, even in Sofia, because come on, it's only a few hours to come here. Yes, you have to wear a jacket. 
yes you oh sorry about my hat yes you have to wear a hat uh or you know where where it's it's cooler but the places are still open you can still hang out you can still go to the beach you're not going to be swimming it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you can still hang out it's great obviously hotels are like nothing walk in negotiate a price it, it's nothing i mean it's like a rounding error you can stay right on the freaking beach for for just nothing for nothing literally nothing go over to janet pick up your perine skulls grab yourself some barbecue at shrek i gotta do a video from from there they're they're still open and of course their food is awesome or come to the bistro here come visit my friends they're open till 6 p.m every single day now maybe not on sundays i'm not sure but oh food made with love here my soup is getting is getting a little bit uh, studeno so i have to uh, cut my video short thank you for watching very much and i hope to see you and um if you are planning on visiting very soon or if you are here right now and uh, you want me to buy you a beer and you want to hear a bunch of uh, blah 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 Send me a message.